Isle of Dogs is written and directed by Wes Anderson, and I can now confirm that that man is one of my favorite working filmmakers. <laughs> Isle of Dogs is about a trash island turned dog island when a sickness spreads among the dogs of Japan. When talks of conspiracy begin to bubble, a boy decides to go on an adventure to find his missing dog, Spots. Wes Anderson has been perfecting his crap for a while now, and while Moonrise Kingdom and Grand Budapest Hotel are nearly flawless, even his less well-received films are intriguing and beautiful and therefore gain followings. With Isle of Dogs, Wes gives us an entirely animated stop-motion spectacle with political and social commentary, along with engaging and witty dialogue that I didn't even need to understand half the time to love. A lot of the movie was in Japanese but didn't have subtitles, which forced us to really get to know our characters rather than rely on words to understand them. This was a cool new experience for me in foreign language with film. It was done brilliantly and it really gave us the opportunity to really enjoy the spectacle of a Wes Anderson film. Every single shot is beautiful and every line drives the plot forward. Honestly, it's so rare in film. Hats off to you, Wes. You did it again. The voice acting in the movie was fantastic. It gave the dogs a sense of personality beyond the fantastic claymation. There's something about Edward Norton's voice and Jeff Goldblum's voice that just make me smile now especially coming from a claymation dog. The animation in this movie was easily one of the best parts about it. It used claymation in a really unique way in almost every single scene, and some scenes even used hand-drawn animation within the claymation. I've said Asian too many times, it just, it was really cool and utilized perfectly. Director of photography was Tristan Oliver, who did Paranorman and Fantastic Mr. Fox. The man knows how to film a stop motion, and with Isle of Dogs, he did it so, so well. While Wes Anderson was able to give us one of the most beautiful films of the year, Tristan was able to present it for us. Isle of Dogs was actually written by Wes Anderson, but he had help from past collaborators like Jason Schwartzman, Kenichi Nomura, and Roman Coppola. The story was excellent and engaging with really good commentary without failing to be funny pretty much the whole time. It was written and directed by a clear lover of Japanese cinema, so if you're a fan, you'll really enjoy this movie. The original score was by Alexander Desplate, who actually won a couple Oscars for Grand Budapest Hotel and Shape of Water last year. The music was definitely the final piece to the puzzle that just fit perfectly together. Everything from the opening credits to the closing credits. Awesome. It is so rare that a film gives me exactly what I want it to give me, but it seems like Wes Anderson has made that his job. From the beginning to the end, every shot was perfect and poster worthy, the script was beyond smart without straying from being funny, and the music held it all together like the frosting in a big movie cake. Original, excellent, Isle of Dogs gets a 10 out of 10. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, just hit subscribe, and if you want me to review a movie that you like, put it in the comments.